<laughs> you say- Oh my god! No! What the heck? What the- Squashed by the teddy bear. Oh, this is a riot. And welcome to GT Not Live. We're not live, but I tell you what we are. Too fast and too furious. That has literally nothing to do with the game that we're playing today, but it's on my mind because uh -huh, I've been doing a lot of binging of the Fast and Furious series uh, for an upcoming film theory that we have on it. It's one of those, I, I feel like it's an appropriate topic for that franchise. It's, it's the appropriate intelligence level for that franchise because it's all about which movie in the Fast and Furious franchise is the most fast and furious, which is the fastest, which is the most furious, and how that affects the overall ratings and audience reception of the movies. Um, but it's been fun. I'm starting, you could say I, uh, I'm living my life eight quarters of a mile at a time because I'm trying I've never seen any of the movies and suddenly you know I'm, I'm a couple days into this like heavy-duty content binge to, to catch up on it all and I'm I'm starting on episode five at this point episode five yep that's it that's the one fast five which first off uh, to be fair craziest naming uh, concept of a of, of franchise ever you've got the fast and the furious then you've got too fast too furious then you've got Tokyo Drift. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. So it goes back to the original title. Then the fourth one, which is just insane. The fourth one is impossible because it's Fast and Furious. No thes. Great, thank you. That's not helpful at all for SEO purposes because thes get neglected in all search engines. So trying to find it is miserable. And then five is Fast Five. Six is... Fast and Furious 6, I think, and then 7 is Furious 7, mm -hmm. 8 is The Fate, F8, The Fate of the Furious, and then F9, The Fast Saga, which no one has called it at any point in time. That was really impressive. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. The, really the, do your research. The, the reason why I have to have it in my mind is because every time I'm trying to start one of these movies or look for a clip as I'm writing this script... I'm constantly having to go back and be like, oh god, what was the name of that one again? It's, it's this constant. And we buy everything on uh, Google Play Movies just because it's the easiest way to, to share. We have a, the family library that we share with the editors and stuff so they can pull clips and things. And the, the naming system and the organizational system that exists on Google Play uh, is, is difficult to say the least because the word the counts as a T instead of, you know, instead of ignoring the the and going to like the word that you would expect. So the Fast and Furious is filed under T instead of F, which is super dumb. Uh, and then on top of that, Marvel movies are filed under Marvel's Avengers. So it ever, like every Marvel movie is under like Marvel's The Avengers. Marvel, the, it's, it's a hot mess over there. So anyway, as I've been working on the script, there's been a lot of like me going back and just like, what is the name of this stupid movie? What's the name? Uh, I'm, I'm curious though, Matt, are, are you a fan of Fast and oh. Fear? Are you a fan of the Fast Saga? Absolutely. Yeah, one of my favorite stupid, stupid movies. I love it. It's so I love good. that I ask you about like cinematic touchstones, <laughs> like, you know, Harry Potter Star and Lord Wars. of the Rings, and you're like, don't stand those. No. Got no time for those. You're putting but, the rock in a car. <laughs> I'm the there. Rock in I'm there. Which, let's be honest, is, is the, the rock. In a car, that's it. <laughs> or a guy who's got a rock in his throat for the amount of growth. I'm Vin Diesel and I've got emotions. Oh, the way that he delivers lines. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Masterclass. <laughs> it's just so, so many strange decisions. But I gotta say, so like I said, I'm, I'm up to number five at this point. I, I like them? Question mark? I don't like the tone that you had. No, no, the thing is, Please I... don't insult. They are, first off, it's the most, like, testosterone-soaked <laughs> thing that I've ever engaged in in my life, I gotta say. Uh, outside of, like, the one time I played football. Uh, <laughs> but, no, the... the I, I, I ironically like them. I do like... See, I'm, I, I'm struggling mentally with where I sit on them, because it's like... I recognize that they're bad movies, 
but I like them. But do I, I ironically, where does the line sit between I, ironic appreciation and just appreciate, like, where does that cross over, you know? I'm in that gray area right now. I think this year and, and all subsequent years are about fully ignoring that line. Because why do we need to know where it is if we like no, it? No, uh, uh, like, right? Like, is do you need to differentiate between liking something and ironically liking something? I feel something? like up until 2016, you did. But now we we live in a post-irony society. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Post-irony society. <laughs> Because, like, irony has, at this point, built and built and built on itself. Oh, 100%. Where, like, no one knows anymore. No, and right? And and some of the cringiest stuff is some of the most popular stuff, yeah. right? Like, that's that's the thing. Like, to embrace the cringe is to be popular. Um, I did a two-hour-long... This is fun. Um, I did a two-hour-long interview with the YouTube Culture and Trends Report uh, for their annual kind of presentation that they do at Can Lion, which is this uh, big advertiser summit get-together... Uh, where they asked me all sorts of things about digital culture in 2020 and 2021, because th that's the sort of stuff I study, right? I, I just, like, in my free time, that's the sort of stuff that we consult with. Um, just as a creator, I think it's really beneficial for me to understand and immerse myself in this stuff, because one, I enjoy it, but two, it helps the stuff that we produce all the, all the better, because we're able to speak in the language of the internet. Um, so they, they called me in as an expert specifically to speak about the Dream SMP, uh, and a couple other topics that I was, like, specifically subject matter expert in. They kept, like, three sentences of this two-hour-long interview. Like, literally, and they're, like, the most baseline of observations, dude. They're like, the Dream SMP is, like, a structured improv. That's it, friends. Um, I, I want to get my footage, actually, so I can do something with it, because it was two hours of, like, I think really interesting conversation, and one of the big topics that we were talking about was cringe. Because they asked me about, like, you know, talk to me about cringe, uh, which which is passe in and of itself. But, like, talk to me about cringe. What do you ta tell brands who are afraid of doing cringy content, this and that? And the, one of the big takeaways that I'm like is, like, first off, just, just like, lean in. You know, like, embrace it because that's fun. And if it, it shows that you're confident in yourself. It's, and it's the sort of stuff that, like, people kind of appreciate. At the, like, you are unironically yourself by kind of being ironically yourself. Mm. Um, probably the reason they cut a lot of the stuff is like it's it's so many layers deep because we had been talking for a long time. But uh, but yeah, it's that is into a post-irony world. That's really fascinating because I, you know what? You're kind of right. Like everything is kind of tinged with a layer of irony, which yeah. thereby like negates irony. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's interesting. And then people are irony core. You right. Know. But but now you look at the reviews of going back to Fast Five or Fast Nine, F9, the Fast Saga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People are questionable about it because it is so over the top. Like, it is so self aware well, that it's it. lost a lot of that. I know that you haven't seen Fast Nine. I know, so but I, I I've, I've read the reviews and stuff, so I like. I have a general sense of what happens. Okay. In it. One of the characters sort of breaks the fourth wall. In oh, a, really? In a way where you're like, so like, they get it. Oh, that's weird. See, huh, that's interesting. So breaking the fourth wall, and, and where you set that line is really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Breaking the fourth wall feels like too much for this brand. Like, it's good to be dumb, mm. stupid and dumb, but as soon as you acknowledge that you're in on the joke, mm -hmm. you lose it, kind of? Is that what it is? I, I liked it. Because you did like it? Okay. It, it functioned both as a nod to the audience as like, we know that this is dumb. Yeah. But it they didn't do it well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the way that the franchise does. Right. It just kind of like, eh. So I was like, okay, cool. So like, it's still... It's still bad. The tone it's is still, still so bad. There. It's good. Exactly. Okay, cool. All, I, all I've been seeing... I'm, I'm excited to get there. Like I said, I'm at... I just crossed the turning point where the franchise kind of took itself seriously and is now no longer mm. taking itself seriously. And you can very clearly see a shift yeah. in, like, the first three movies. The start of movie four. Movie four is very clearly this, like, awkward, like, teenage movie of yeah. what do we want to be. And the opening scene is just a masterpiece. I, I, I was laughing so hard at the Do you have a favorite there. thus far? Uh, man, that's... A, too, too Fast, Too Furious too is fast my is... least favorite, actually. Oh. I know. Is that is that bad? Well, that's the movie where we get introduced to Ludacris's character. No, don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. Ludacris and like they're great additions to the cast. Yes. I think the movie on like the stunt level and mm. on the like plot level, mm -hmm. the plot. 
no, no joke. We'll, we'll hop into the game here in a second. No joke, though. The first three, three out of the first four movies have the plot line of bad guy needs driver. Let's drive fast in order to be bad guy's driver and sneak in. Like, that's it. That's the first. Th they had so few ideas for the franchise. It was literally like, hmm, how do we get this? I got one. And they used it. Three damn times. The first one's got cops in it. And there's like a boat. Well, that's the, that's the other thing. Okay. I, I swear we're going to talk about the game here in a second. But last thing I got to say here. Binge watching them all back to back. I don't know if people have overlooked this, forgotten this, don't care. None of these people are good. Like that's one of the struggles that I as an audience member. I'm, as someone who likes good guys and who like abides by rules. It's easy to forget. None of them are the good guy. Like Dom... I don't know how the later movies treat him, but, like, he's the bad guy in the first movie. Like, the whole twist of the first movie is that it's an anti-twist. Mm. Like, it's this idea of, like, oh, we're going to find who's really up to all these heists and carjacking. Not carjackings. Uh, they're, like, highway robbery, literally. But, like, they're, like, we're going to find out who the true culprit is. But it was the guy you expected the entire time. Like, it was it was the guy that they were after from the get-go. It is the anti-twist. It was amazing. Um... And then, and then the cop lets him go, and then, like, none of them are good people. And all of a sudden, you're in, in Tokyo Drift, mm -hmm. and he's doing a drift through Shibuya Crossing mm -hmm. where all the people have to, like, oh, run away. I'm like, they're... hundreds of people are dying <laughs> here. Destroying cities. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I feel, and I'm like, what about the poor pedestrians? You just see them fleeing out of terror. And I'm like, I feel terrible for the humans who exist in this world. Oh, I have a lot of feelings. It's been fun, though. It has been a fun cultural moment for me, and I'm glad. I'm always excited to get, exp like, at a certain point, content becomes a treadmill, right? Like, watching Marvel is like, okay, I I'm on the treadmill and I'm watching Marvel. Like, I know a lot of this stuff. Like, next Game of Thrones thing comes out, next uh, Lord of the Ring comes out. I'm already on those treadmills. I know about them. Fast has been interesting because it's been the first time in a while that I've been able to hop into something brand new, fresh, with no knowledge really of it before. And it's been fun to experience it in my own way and then go back and look at the commentary and see like how other people react to it. Uh, and that's been fun. So it's, yeah. it's been really refreshing. So they're, I'm excited to see the back half of the series at this point. They're a great time. They are. They're, they're fun. They're, they're the epitome of popcorn munching. Um, no graceful segue whatsoever here, but we're playing The Witch's House. Yeah. Okay. And The Witch's House, I, I saw in the comments was requested by a lot of you off of the Aoni series, which was which we just wrapped up, which was super fun. If you missed it, go back and watch it. It was great. Um, but Witch's House was requested by... Boop, 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 boop. That was great. Are we going to do it? Yeah, we're going to Are we going to do that do thing, it. or did I just do that in no. a stupid way? What if I? What if that was true, though, and I didn't do it? You know what? Dumb? It, cringe. Embrace the cringe, <laughs> right? Post-irony! <laughs> but a lot of you have been requesting this one. Uh, we saw your requests, and so... Um, so yeah, this is it. And apparently this is uh, The Witch's House. Here, you pull it up. Uh, the Witch's House Me? Uh, M-E? M -M M-V. That's a V. See, that doesn't... M-V? What does that mean? Um, I didn't know if that was like the signature of the, the creator or... Yeah, M-V? Movie? It's, it's the remastered version. So. Master volume? Could be. Mystery Velvet? Mysterious vultures. Oh, mysterious! There's a vis mysterious vulture on our house. This Did you see it? When really? In? Yeah, there was a mysterious no, vulture. I'm on our terrified house. of Huge. vultures. Huge. They use our like house as like a perch upon which they're ready to swoop down on their prey. It's crazy. Uh, 2012. Fummy. 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 Okay. I'm like, is that funny? Am I? Am I stroking out right now? Oh God. Uh, Fummy. Fummy version 1.06. Okay, so this is one of those nostalgia games. Uh, kind of continuing on, Matt Pat plays all the games that he missed when he didn't have a Let's Play channel in 2012. This is the Witch's House MV. Uh, let's begin, shall we? Remastered. Uh, here we go. Cool. I know not again, like the Fast Saga. I know nothing about this. See, that's our transition. There we that's go. it. We got it. We, we, got we it. pulled it back. Minutes later, but <laughs> we did it. It's <laughs> seamless and smooth. Selected uh, difficulty. It can't be changed. Easy, normal, or question mark allows instant restarts after a game over. For those who want a stress-free experience, return you to the title screen, the original difficulty, for those who want tension. I think we're going to go easy mode. I think that's a good right? idea. Right? Like, if it's just kicking me back to the title screen, like, that seems arbitrary. Let's just, let's just enjoy. We can still die, but let's just, you know, 
no no reason to have to restart the entire game. Ooh, ooh, SNES era graphics, nice. Okay, Z interact, X menu, shift and dash. Okay, so these. Are, ooh, look at this. Ooh, a letter in my pocket. Read. I don't mind if you go out to play, but don't go deep in the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad, Dad does not expect to see me again. Dad knows what's gonna happen here. Z interact, X show menu, shift dash, okay. Oh wow, graphically, this is gorgeous. Towering lush tree. Hmm. Out of the forest, question marks house. Well, we should probably leave the forest, right? You're up an atom, eh? I, yes. Humans shouldn't be out here, too dangerous. Oh, are you my save point? You are, okay, good to know. Great. Can I leave the forest? Wait, should I leave the forest? Oh. What's this? The way is blocked by a small patch of roses, okay. This is beautiful, I love the sprite animation. SNES era stuff is, roses so cold, they feel artificial. It's very poetic. Um, SNES stuff is definitely one of my favorite. Ooh, found something rusty and sharp. Take. Ho ho! Got a machete! Items are not used automatically. Stand in front of an object, then select an item from the menu to use it. Okay. Can I equip it? Sharp tool for cutting. Okay, so that's going to cut the roses, maybe? Oh, great. Got the machete. Some items will perform effects as long as you have them in your possession. Check an item's description for more info. Yeah. Okay. The way is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. <laughs> I love this wall of text on the side. Can I use you? Can't even make a dent. Well, then that means I gotta go to these other roses. How about these less intense roses? Use it. Cut them. Shoot. Well, I can't go home. You can pass through now. The machete broke. All right, great. Oh, we're going to the spooky house. Bad idea. Tree stump. A thick, lush tree. Wow, I can interact with every tree. A thick, lush tree. Hey, kitty. Oh, what is it? Ugh. Hmm. The way out is blocked by roses, huh? It is. But the way in... You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. Oh, don't trust this black cat. This black cat wants to kill me. Don't, don't do it, man. Don't do it. It's the Aoni house. It's all a connected universe. The Aoni saga. The blue saga. A two. A O two. There is a sequel to Aoni. Is there really? Yeah, we could we could play it sometime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Don't know. Okay, we'll look into it. it Candles though. Right? I, I mean, the first one definitely earned my, earned my appreciation and respect. Oh, that's, that's a blood puddle on the wall, on the floor. We're not, we're not, we don't stand that. Come to my room. Oh, shoot. Nope. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, wow! I, <laughs> I did not expect that one. <laughs> Man, it got smushed hardcore. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to muddy my shoes on with the obvious puddle of blood. Wow. Man. <laughs> All right. We set in the tone here early, friends. <laughs> Hold up. I want to see this again. That was just too enjoyable. Oh, and it just pulls her apart. Oh, wow. That was incredible. So, uh, that's the game. I now know that that's how we're going to play, so that's good to know. Setting the tone early. Whew. Well then. <laughs> Black Cat, yo. Decided I'd follow you for the laughs. Incidentally, where'd the heck you come from? I came from save file number one. Thanks. Vase of Roses. This black cat is the witch, right? We, we can agree. Clearly, this black cat cannot be trusted. You never trust the animal familiar who's coming along with you for the ride. 
dusty old dresser. There's nothing inside. When you said animal familiar that follows you for the ride, immediately my brain flashed Puss in Boots from the Shrek movies. <laughs> I mean, the most iconic of them, obviously. This black cat is your Puss in Boots. Yeah, he's my puss. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't trust these scissors. These scissors have a chain on them. I, if, if this is a game where like taking things and doing things is going to automatically result in my death, uh, these are very suspicious scissors, let's be honest. They're attached to a chain. I think I'm going to have to bring something here. That one's locked, okay. I think I'm going to have to bring something here to use them as opposed to taking them, and then obviously I'm going to get, like, sliced in half or something. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh, this is... Let's read the note first. Last time, last time there was a suspicious room and you touch the thing in the middle, you find a gruesome death. Bears in the basket. The bear basket has a teddy bear. There's a little bit of room left. Okay, so I'm going to need more bears in the basket. I'm surprised that it wasn't like, take bear, and then all of a sudden, like, you do, and the bear, like, rips you to shreds. Face of roses. Hello, clock. Time marches on. Oh, there's a teddy bear. I, it won't turn on. Roses, roses everywhere, man. Good floral. Which is diary. Uh, sure, why not? I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Well, a little backstory. Good. Open when the house returns to normal. Okay. Teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Take teddy bear. Got teddy bear. Pile of presents and empty cookie tins. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What just happened? Something fell. Something fell. Did you see it? Something fell. Big stuffed bear. Present fell from the pile. Oh no! Shoot, present fell from the pile. Something bad's gonna happen with that one. Now I'm just paranoid. <laughs> now I'm just, everything I touch, I'm very concerned about. There's a bit of room left. Let's put Teddy in. Put in basket. Its limbs make it too big to fit. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm going to have to slice the teddy bear, aren't I? Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, here we go. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Don't take... Oh, but here, I got to apply teddy bear. Cut off... <laughs> Cut off bear's limbs. Sure. You cut off the teddy bear's... Oh, oh no, and it's bloody. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Jeez, Teddy Bear's got a bloody paw now. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Ooh, things are getting dark. What's down here? It won't open. Okay. Well, well then. It was worth an, It was worth the, the test. All right. Hey, scary Teddy Bear. A limbless Teddy Bear read where its limbs were. Oh, jeez. Put it in the basket. Here you go. Stuff the teddy bear torso in the basket. You heard something unlocked. Yay! Ha! Nothing. Hmm. Basket has two teddy bears inside. Oh, they're best. Oh, okay! Sure! You stay. Oh my god! No! What the heck? What the? Squashed by the teddy bear. Oh, this is a riot. What the heck is this game? Oh, this is nuts. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, hey. Bloody paw print. You feel like it changed places. Yeah, I do feel like it changed places. Classic teddy bears. So the handprints guide us to where we need to go? Let's read it again, see if it changed. No, okay. You know, I feel like, honestly, I feel like if a giant teddy bear came bounding to 
the room that I was staying in, my first reaction would not be fear. My first reaction would be like, cuddles! I would assume somebody put their toddler in a... In, a in like a big bear, bear costume yeah. or something. I mean, like, look, I literally have the equivalent of what just smushed me to death right here. Like, get on my face. If, and, and also, if anything, it's a suffocation death rather than, you know, a, a, a smushed... I don't know. Death. The thing had eyes. Like, like I, animal excuse eyes. Me. <laughs> excuse me. Animal eyes? Excuse me. What are you talking about, Matt? Get out of here. I'm so sorry, Gigachu. Well, I am so sorry. Anyone who's got glasses can't smush you to death. That's a fact. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah, he's Little like, known fact. Well, then, good. I, I won't fear you smushing me to death at any point in my life. I'm not afraid of you, Matt. <laughs> hmm. I just feel like it had more mass to it than you think it did. It, it, no, certainly. Given its, its menacing human eyes. It's, it's girthy. Hmm. I don't know if I would have used the word. But perhaps. What if I? Okay, so here it comes. Are you gonna... Is it gonna come at me? Are you gonna come at me, bro? Okay, come at me, bro. No. Yeah! Move to a separate room. Get dunked on, bear. I'm gonna save. Great. All right. Let's be honest here. Oh, hey. Oh, it's the teddy bear limbs. Floor is littered with teddy bear limbs. Take. All right. Let's be honest here. We're all curious what happens. Bloody and fleshy. I love that there's an HP meter as though that has any meaning whatsoever. Here, we're going to try to take these scissors and they're going to kill us. I'm curious. Oh, no. Oh, I can't take them anymore. I was really curious what the death was going to be. Because honestly, I think part of the fun of this game is going to be seeing all these wacky deaths. The door opened, and I have teddy bear limbs. Probably shouldn't have... Hmm. Should I have taken them? I don't know. What's this? Check for poison. Great. Will do. Red chair. Red chair. An extravagant candle lights up the table. Oh, that, that definitely looks like poison. Red chair. Extravagant t candle. Red chair. Okay, they're all probably red chairs. Mmm. Strangely colored soup in a skull-shaped bowl. Uh. <laughs> check for point. Do nothing. We're just gonna leave that one here for now. Spacious fireplace. <laughs> Look inside, sure. What's gonna happen here? Nothing but soot. <laughs> Great. Dark out as far as the eye can see. Ooh, what's this guy? Wine bottles line the shelf. Can I push? No, I cannot. I'm like, ooh, can I get those wine bottles? Wine bottles line the shelf. Uh, items. Teddy bear limbs. Nope. Can't put the limbs into the skull cup. Oh, hey. Hey. Look where we are. Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. Here, we're just going to go there. Did this open? Still no. Okay. And let's go back to teddy bear. Is there anything can I do with the teddy bear limbs with these guys? I just feel bad about that. Apparently not. Okay. Just wanted to see what was up. So I don't trust that one. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. Ha ha ha. I get it. I've got a teddy bear hand. Oh, what is this thing? Oh. Hello. Hand over bear limbs. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Yeah, there it is. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key! Yeah! I'm busy. Okay. Lined with table or glasses and seasoning. Nothing particularly. I that was definitely a death where my hands get chopped off, right? What do you think, Matt? Yeah, no, absolutely. Right, absolutely. Aristocratic dining. Let's read. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. Using such hard-to-clean cutlery proved they were wealthy enough to hire servants. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, I was going to say, I, I bet. Making them quite useful. Yeah, I was wondering about that one, actually. Sink. Bugs swarm around the empty faucet. Can I smush him? Smush! Smush! Nothing. This one's locked. A beautiful glinting silver key. But now we get to check for poison over here. 
See? This is like Saw. We just did a movie, we just did a film theory about Saw. This is the same thing. You know, if you read the instructions and you think about them before you rush into situations, Saw's gonna let you live through the reverse bear trap. Same thing here. Which left the instructions, lend a hand, and the bear told you. Here's here's my bear hands. You know, you gotta think. I say as I'm about to kill myself, I'm sure. Famous last words. Silver key. Put key in soup, hit bowl with key. If I hit the bowl with the key, it's gonna break the bowl and probably spew poison out of my face, right? I think I might, you know how like people can like make bowls ring? Oh yeah. Maybe you'll make like a lovely tone. Here, here. I'm, I'm bummed that I haven't died in a little bit, honestly. <laughs> so here, we're gonna save. And now we're gonna see what happens when we, cause I believe the correct answer here is going to, well, here, the, the, the wrong answer here is take a sip. Really? Drink it. Nothing. Oh, I was poisoned. You heard something unlock. Oh. Ah, HP does matter. Well, here I die. There we go. Yeah. Oh, jeez, she coughs up blood. See, the deaths are actually really fun. <laughs> yeah, I figured that that was going to be... I called it, right? We all knew that, so it's safe. Um, We're going to do silver key here. We're going to hit the bolt. The correct answer, I think, is put the key in the suit, but we're going to hit it with the key just because I'm curious. You hear a pleasant sound. All right, well... I thought there would be something more, but it was not. Do 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 ba da ba. The key turned black in the soup. You heard something unlock. Oh, hey! I also saw something leave the fireplace, which was not great. Spacious fireplace. Hey, there's that wine bottle. That's what I was looking for. Wine bottle fell down. Wine bottle fell down. Hmm. Oh, my cook friend's gone. Cutting board covered with scratches. Rusty stove. What opened up? This one opened up. Oh, shoot, we're going upstairs. Let me save. Oh, I squished it! I did it! I squished it! That was a big, that was a big achievement for me. Celebrating my own victories here. Still won't open. I just want to make sure. Look at us. We're flying through. It's nice that the witch has left us all these notes on the way. Ooh, spooky girl. Probably girl before me. <laughs> this is great. Hello. Oh, kitty friend. Hey, kitty friend. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. You didn't get me. I knew it was you the whole time. Feels like you could move at any moment. Hmm, that's not foreshadowing at all. Hello, spooky long corridor room. Oh no, there's a spider. Spider is colorblind. No, 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 do not want, do not want spider. I'm not going into that room yet, no, no thanks. Not right now, please. Matt, you haven't encountered my fear of spiders, have you? No, I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, it's, it's not great. Really? Oh, it's not great. What about it? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those native fears, right? Those just like yeah. primitive instincts that humanity has that's unexplained. They are like one of the furthest things from like human beings. Right? It, right? At, even, even like, I, and the weird thing is like snakes, other bugs, don't mm. bother me. Spiders. Mm. <gasps> I yeah, know. I have a snake thing. And, and the weird, the other weird thing about me is tiny spiders tend to freak me out. Unexpected spiders are always going to be freaky. Mm-hmm. But tiny spiders freak me out more than, like, tarantulas. Like, mm. so, like, I held a tarantula before and I was okay with it. But really? it was in a controlled environment. Like, the control of the situation was okay. Yeah. But tiny spiders, you don't know if they're going to jump. You don't know. They move fast. Mm. That's freaky. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, no! It's terrible. Oh. Not, not a fan of where this next challenge is headed. That one, this might be one of those deaths that I try very hard not to have. An open children's encyclopedia of animals. Okay. Mm. Books on plants and crumpled balls of paper. 
Oh, hello, there's a small shadow child there. Piled stack of art collections and encyclopedias, vase of roses, books on plants and crumpled walls of paper. Okay, hey, there's someone invisible here. Let's do nothing yet. Oh, shoot, was I supposed to talk to him? Talk. Sorting these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. The wall's covered in something red and sticky. I'm curious what the blood marks mean. Is that like how close I'm getting to dying? Because like the bloody paw prints happened a couple times. Uh, okay, residence burns down. Blank and his wife were found dead in the wreckage. Classic. Stab wounds on the bodies led inspectors to believe that they were murdered before the arson. Additionally, the only daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire at the police. <laughs> the, the police. That's all you need to know. Just darn police. Carefully sorted bookshelf. Nothing catches your eye. Nothing catches my eye. Did you see the thing in the mirror earlier? Wait, there was something in the mirror? There was something in the mirror. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Oh, is it? No, that's you. There's like a purple figure in the mirror. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there it is. There. There it is. The mirror is now cracked, so. Great. Book titled Funny Story. Yeah, let's read it. I love a good funny story. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart broke down in the woods, but then a hunter and his dog came along. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on the cart, and the hunter agreed. Rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. Oh, no. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check his mother. When the rich man returned, he saw the dog guarding the cart. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin, but the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it. So the master, oh, so the master killed the dog. Huh. That's a very interesting fairy tale, I think. I thought that that was just a very... I wouldn't find it funny. I didn't think that was funny. Maybe ironically funny? Was that ironically funny, Matt? <laughs> Are we post-irony in this game? Is Witch's House post-irony? I don't, I don't think killing a dog is ever going to be post-ironically funny. Right, I was going to say, I don't, think this is, I, don't, I don't think it was very funny. Any, anytime animals die, not, not particularly funny. Literally rule number one right. of the internet. And yet, and yet, for a period of time... In my life, at least, dead baby jokes. I was just gonna say, hottest thing. Dead, dead dog jokes. jokes. Nope, <laughs> nope. Don't touch dead babies. Yeah, dead baby jokes really had a hold on my like fifth grade class. They were man. I your fifth grade class. I mean, fifth grade. I can kind of understand. I had a friend in college who, no joke. Oh no. All through, I think it was his what freshman sophomore year. I was a year older than him. Yeah. Fun. It's funniest thing in the world to him. Just huh. constant constant and he'd be like i found a new one or like i came up with a new one i'm like yep and you, you don't know you want to support your friend in their interests I but like, i don't know i think a real friend would be like hey would would a real friend be like that <laughs> yeah like hey the, i sure would but the thing but like you said the dead baby jokes at the time like that was just the popular meme i get which weird yeah. weird time pre-meme memes see but also we've come to a we as a culture have evolved dead babies yeah no dead dogs no Dead children at animatronic pizzeria restaurants. F society is funny, if you isn't it? Me, <laughs> we we live in a funny world. If you told me a dead baby joke, I would pull you aside and say something. Oh no, absolutely right, <laughs> absolutely. Hey, hey, let's, you know, I'm a good friend. this this is not good. at this point, yeah. right? But again, this was like what twenty? Yeah, what have been? This is a very different. I was time. probably a fifth grader. Sure. So what what year would that have been? Uh, no. In which we, Amy, title this section of the video, the point in the video in which we discuss dead babies. <laughs> um, was it like 2000? What was this? A bit? Like yeah, let me, six, let me actually think about this. 2012. Seven. Yeah. Right? yeah. Actually, a little bit old, no, later. I would have been, yeah, it would have been later. 12, 11, 10. I was going to say yeah. 2010, 20, 2009, 2010. Yeah. Which is weird to think about because that was only 10 years ago, but it feels like forever ago. That was only... Te right? Isn't that wacky? I don't think that's true. I oh, have I have I'm, done. I'm doing the math. Yeah, math. Math is true. You can you can say what you want about living your personal truth, Matt. But 
math is is a definitive <laughs> the, thing. The numbers don't lie. 2021 minus 10 does yeah. give you 2011, 2010. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. I know. Numbers, man. <laughs> they're, they're wild. <laughs> don't do dead baby jokes. <laughs> Please. The animatronic kids. That's where it's at. Witch's House 1, part 1. Let's read it. <laughs> Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. See? Again. Saw, they're giving you the clues. Something else must serve as a key. Thank you. Which is house put two. Which is magic can make the house change form. Man, those were the short... More like the witch's novella, honestly. I went... It's not a book, it's a novella. It's an operetta at best. All right. Uh, I need something to help this person tie up the books. Do I have anything? I have a letter in my pocket. I have a cracked mirror. Letter in my pocket, newspaper, etc. Okay, so I need something to help tie up the book. Perhaps a spider's web, <laughs> any God. sort of... Save the butterfly. The spider is colorblind, so... I know, but what does that mean? So let's think about what that means. Because that's I mean, that is the important clue, right? Let's see what other items we have first. Insect models are lined up inside the glass case. There's a blue winged butterfly. Okay, so we need to transition the blue butterfly for the yellow butterfly. Because blue and yellow are the colors that, one of the colors that blend together, right? When you're colorblind. Okay, this won't budge. So we need something to open up. Shoot. Shoot. What is this? The glass case holds what looks to be a human head. It is now cracked. Great. Picture of a white cat playing with some yarn. Ooh, yarn. That could work. I have nothing really to interact with. I have a letter. Scrap of paper inside. Read it. Rope in a barrel. Oh, yeah. So it's this. So distract the spider. So the barrel's over there, right? So distract the spider. Get the rope in the barrel. Has this changed now that I'm in here, by the way? Huh. I don't mind if you go out and play, but don't go too deep in the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, thanks, Dad. Way to way to let your daughter just go off into the evil woods. Lady with a parasol. We're missing a book, so we're gonna need a book. Nothing. Ah, nothing on the back. Yeah, I was wondering about that one. Okay. So we've got human head case. Speaking of anything on the back, a carefully. Yeah, is there anything on the back of any of these? Nothing. Might as well do the last one. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Because, hey, it's a perfectly valid place to hide stuff. This one's locked. Save the butterfly. Okay. So, here. Let me save before I start cracking open... There we go. Let's save before we start cracking open museum cases. Case is cracked. Nothing in glass case. So, okay, I think what some of these things are, are, if I'm reading the mechanics of this right, if I'm just intuiting them, this is step one. I'm allowed to fail this challenge one more time. So I tried to take the butterfly, I screwed up. At which point the gra glass ca case cracked. If I try to take him again, I will die. I'm going to put this to the test. Is this going to kill me now? Nope. Okay. Maybe not. I. But it feels to me like you get a certain number of chances maybe to, like, that's what the blood prints are or something. Maybe that's like a hint that you're going down the wrong route and that you have, like, that's your first strike. And maybe there's another strike that you have. All right. Back to this terrifying room with the spider. Okay. So the butterfly's up there, the, and he's colorblind. Barrel, nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside, sure. Spider's colorblind. All right. I'm just going to, nothing on this side. Broken barrel, nothing inside. Spider's going to jump out at me, isn't it? I hate this so much. There's a piece of rope. Yeah, the spider's gonna kill me, isn't it? I know it is. Oh god, I hate spiders so much. 
Got some rope. Don't mind me. Just, uh, just moving on. Really? Nothing? Nothing? Really? Yes! Great! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You thought it moved slightly. Must be your man. It's not my imagination. No! Stop it! Uh, hey, little boy, I have some string. A smooth piece of rope. Here, I've got something that you can tie up your books with. Ah, is that for me? Yes. He's not gonna... My prediction, he's not gonna tie up the, the, the books. Ooh, Book of Death. Okay, he's enjoying his books. Cool. Reading the cover won't kill you, apparently. Ha, ha, ha. Great. Uh, cool. So we've got Book of... Great. That makes me feel real secure in myself and my status in this game. Uh, Book of Death. So we have... I don't trust that head either. Bookshelf. Book is missing. Let's put a book on it. Don't read. Put on bookshelf. There it is. I like that it offered you the opportunity to read it first. Sound like the glass cover fell off. Oh, jeez! Oh, no, 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 no! Shit! <laughs> Stupid evil murder head. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez, you are so fast. Get through the door! <laughs> there should have I would have loved there to have been a second like you got through that right but then you go to save yourself because I feel like everyone's impulse after that moment is to go to the cat and save and as you go to to walk to the suit past the suit of armor it stabs you just as a reminder of like it's still alive and so you still die that would have been really funny uh, as like a second jump scare uh, just when you thought it was safe okay Glass cover's gone, there's nothing inside. Blue winged butterfly. And what did I get? I... Oh, I just opened up the case. Can I take it now? There we go, butterfly model. Now I get to play with the spider, which is so great. Super excited about that one. Okay. All right. So cool here. Items, butterfly model. I'm not, no, I'm not touching the web. I'm not touching the web. I got it, it's not like me. Golden butterfly is caught in the web. Don't take. Items, butter, put the butterfly model. Huge spider web. Yep. Put the butterfly model somewhere in the web. I'm gonna have to take it and then. Okay, butterfly model's on the web. Weak but still alive. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of here as fast as possible. Nope! Nope, what is that? What is that? What is that? Hole opened up in the floor. Nope, 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 nope. Butterfly flutters out of your hands and slips out through the wall. I heard something unlock. Oh no, where's my cat friend? Oh no! I wanted to save! Go this way. The door opened. I'm not going there. No thanks. Not through that ominous door. Nope. I'm kind of curious what was through the ominous door though. Yo! Thanks. Alright, let's see what was actually through the ominous door. Might as well. Now that I'm saved, I can go through it. Yeah, there it is. Called that one. Yeah, I figured that. Whoop. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, God. So spooky. This is great. This is great. I love this. Anything else spooky happen in here or no? Should we see what happens if the spider kills us? 
I'm kind of, I'm morbidly curious. I don't know if I can anymore. Also, the hole's opening up in the floor. That's weird. I was terrified that, like, spiders were going to, like, pour out. Nope, great. Ha ha! Spider can't get me anymore! Booyah! Could you interact with the hole in the floor? Just to look at the floor. Yeah, it's it's just a hole opened up. It's gotcha. just an observation, yeah. I was wondering that too. Alrighty. Look at that! Flying through this game! Suck on that, witch! Your little murder house. Ball's covered in something red and sticky. What could it be? I don't know. Is it jam? Oh! <laughs> I'm like, wait, what is this thing flying? Oh, I, yep. The mental facilities were a bit slow uh, on the uptake on that one. <laughs> That's great. Let's do that one again. Here, let's let's sidestep the knife, shall we? Well, it just came this way. Can I recover it? No. I like that the the game kind of telegraphs that with the the sticky stuff on the wall. Oh, jeez. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, there's gonna be gotta be something else. You can see a small tear. This is a bad idea. I'll look inside though, sure. Oh, it's filled with dead cats. Great. That's the worst. See, the dead cat joke's still also not funny. Or just sad. This is a witch's house. You knew that, right? Right. I did know that. I would figured out that one. Frog. Do you like frogs? I do. I like frogs a lot. What can I do with the frog? Ooh, he loves me. Not. The frog joined me. I don't know if that's a good thing, but... But what if he's a prince? I could kiss him. Maybe that's an option. A lost frog searching for his home. Pet frog. The frog is happy. Aww. Do I have to keep the frog happy? Is that what we're doing here? The frog is still happy. That one's locked. Okay. It's a very thin bridge. Inspect the bridge. It's thinner than your foot. It quickly snap under your weight, but a frog. You can see some sort of lever. Nope, don't. Yeah, don't cross. Obviously. Frog. Frog, can you do this for me, buddy? Oh, he's so happy. Please don't die. Oh, please, frog. Please, frog. Be okay. You heard something unlock. Come on back, buddy. Please come back. Yes, yes. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so happy, good frog. He needs a pet after that one. Good frog. Good frog deserves a pet. Oh, frog is happy. Ooh, hello. Hello, ghost girl. Can I send my frog back? I can't. He's looking for his home. So is ghost girl like a past version of me or something? What are we thinking? Make a mirror image. Oh, I love these sorts of puzzles. Okay. Pet frog. Nice. Okay, make a mirror image. So first off, we need to... Oh, this is affixed tightly to the floor, so that means this is not going to be... Rose on the table. I'm going to take that. Got a rose. Okay, make a mirror image. We got our frog friend who's going to be hanging out. I love these sorts of challenges in games. I don't know why. They're just really satisfying. There's one in one of my favorite game, games of all time, Illusion of Gaia, where, um, where you have to spot the difference between a bunch of uh, rooms. Spot the difference between two rooms. And the, the last one is so brilliantly subtle. It's, it's great. It's actually, uh, spoiler alert, if you've never played Illusion of Gaia for the Super Nintendo, and if you ever want to, but uh, basically the last solution is that the wind is blowing and you wouldn't be able to tell except for the fact that your character, his, his hair is kind of lightly blowing. It's got the like wind animation. And it took, as a kid, I played this when I was really, really young. And as a kid, 
I remember just staring at the screen for so long, trying to figure out everything, and eventually figuring it out. And it was one of those like game design moments where I felt so accomplished because they had done a really good job of teaching you everything that you needed, and each level was progressively harder and harder till the very end, where it's like, okay, this is the hardest thing we can throw at you. And it was, it was awesome. Like, to this day, it, it just stuck in my mind as this incredible gaming moment. Um, anyway. Uh, table restored in symmetrical fashion. There's a spare piece of cake. Take the cake, because we need that. And if it's symmetrical, that means that this one's going to go on this side. There's nothing here. We should put the cake. Oh, wait. Look, what's the cake say? Tasty looking piece of strawberry cake. Put cake on table. Cake is on the table. So we got frog, frog. Uh, let's see, silverware is off. Shelves lined with tea and canned sweets. Uh, is there a way to re- two, two. So those need to be switched, that needs to be down. Okay, so it is equivalent. So let's rearrange. Let's see, so that's mirror. Nope, still need one more on top. Rearrange again. So now we've got orange, orange, red, orange, blue, red, blue, red. Yep, that's correct. Okay. A large painting on the wall. There's a switch on the frame. Push. Okay. So that is girl umbrella, girl. Tea set's good. Small cupboard is good, plant is good, roses are good, frog is good. This looks right. I think this is right. It's locked. Am I missing something? Even the crack in the floor is symmetrical, actually. Like right here, you can see the crack is symmetrical. That's pretty impressive. Um, did I miss something? Here, maybe I check the note. Make a mirror image. Yep. I think. Frog is sitting down. Leave it there. What am I missing? Does it have to do with... Oh, it has to do with the rose, doesn't it? There it is. Nine roses versus ten roses. That's what it is. Yeah. There we go, put rose in vase. There it is, I remember. I forgot that I put that, the rose there. So now, we're good. Ten roses. Ten roses. Leave it there. Blue in the center, red, orange, blue, red, orange, red. Do I need to be symmetrical? I can be symmetrical. Note again. Make a mirror. Tear off note. Oh, now I can do it. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. The left and right rooms are mirrored. That's what it is. You heard something unlocked. That's right, because there isn't a note on this side. Good. Smart. Again. Really? Oh, no. No, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Cool. What a great puzzle. That was really good. Door open. Through this door until the next, let nothing distract you. Through this door, so I can still read this. Which is diary. My father and my mother didn't love me, so I X them. <laughs> smooch? Is, does X stand for smooch in this case? Like XOXO, smooch? I've been in this house ever since. I don't think it stands for smooch. I don't think she smooched her parents. Cool. How are we doing, Matt, on time? This feels like a good place to yeah. kind of like break. I think it's a good stopping point. Great. This is this is great. This is really, really fun. Uh, a real, again, a really solid balance of like light puzzle solving, funny, interesting, spooky deaths, but not too scary at the right level of spoop. This is beautiful also, uh, just as a game. The, the visual style of this really appeals to me. The, the character models, the inclusion of the little frog friend. Uh, really, really fun. Thank you for this recommendation. Really solid one, guys. If there's anything else 
that you think that we should play either ironically or post ironically let us know because uh, we're on the lookout for new stuff to play and as always remember friends it's all just a video a video for you thanks for watching see ya